Hey everybody, it's Mr. Carr again. Today we're going to be talking about 6b, writing, writing linear inequalities. Okay, so when we look through this, we want to know some important phrases that are going to help with our inequalities. These first four are really straightforward. We have, we have less than, greater than, okay, less than or equal to, okay, greater than or equal to. So these are our straightforward phrases, but there might be some more, okay? So for example, and there's a bunch of them, so we're just gonna highlight a few of them. So for less than or equal to, maybe you see something like at most, okay? Greater than or equal to at least, okay? Um, you might see no more than, okay? That would be a good one for like less than, okay? No more than. Okay, so you're, there's gonna be a whole bunch of phrases that we might come across and we'll make sure we try to highlight those as part of our notes and everything. Okay, some of our other ones, make sure we understand some of these terms. You got addition, so you got sum, adding, okay, uh, together. Okay, more comes up, but be careful because I might say more greater than or more than. Okay, but there's a difference between more than and just more. So we'll see that when we, um, when we come up on there. So we have difference for subtraction, we got subtracting. Okay, um, less, same idea as less than. Okay, there's a difference between saying that X is less than five and five less than X. Okay, um, so, I, and I should, so I should probably say that is less than versus just less than. So it's kind of a weird thing, but it's it pops up a lot. Okay, so we got multiplying. Got uh, product that comes up on there. Okay, divide, quotient. Okay, sometimes you'll see with like division, you'll see like ratio that'll pop up on there because that creates a fraction. So things like that. Okay, so let's work on our translating. So we want to first, we want to translate the given equality and graph the solution. So the product of four and a number is less than 12. So first of all, I'm going to go right here, is less than. That's what my symbol is. Everything else is just going to be representing what's being said here. So product, we know it's multiplication. Four and a number, I don't know the number, so we'll call it x. Okay, so we show product as multiplication, so that's four times x less than 12, and that's it. Now it just turns into what we've done already in this unit. So we're gonna solve this by dividing so that X is less than three. That's gonna be an open circle on three, and then I graph it to the left, okay? All right, so we got here keywords, the sum of negative 10 and four times, uh, four times A is no more than negative 18. Whew, this one's a little bit trickier. So we've got some, we know we're gonna be doing addition. So we negative 10 and something. So I'm gonna, I can go ahead and start this off as negative 10 plus something. Four times A, so that is just four A, is no more than, okay? So is no more than, so that means it could be less than, it could also be equal to, okay? I think I did that in the wrong spot up here because I say I said no more than, yeah, no more than, will actually come down here as less than or equal to. My bad, let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, so no more than, because when I say something like this, if I say five is no more than five, is that true? Yes, it's not more than that, it's the same. So that still counts there. Okay, is no more than is a less than or equal to here. All right, and that's it. So now I got, just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and solve this. So I'm gonna add 10 to both sides. 4a less than or equal to negative 8, divide by 4, a is less than or equal to negative 2. So that's going to be a closed circle on negative 2, and then off to the left. All right, your school wants to collect at least 5,000 pounds of food for a uh, food drive. Write and graph inequality to describe the amount of food that your school hopes to collect. So it doesn't give us a variable, so pick whatever you want. Okay. Um, we'll just say food, we'll say F. So F, we want at least 5,000. 
So the question is, is 5,000 pounds of food equal to, is it at least 5,000? Yes. Is 6,000 at least 5,000? Yes. So this is going to be, we want the amount of food to be greater than or equal to 5,000 pounds. So that's going to give me a closed circle on 5,000 and off to the left. Or sorry, to the right. Sorry. Okay. It's going to be greater than or equal to 5,000. You must be at least 16 years old to get your driver's license. Okay. Write in graph and equality to describe the ages of people that can be, get their driver's license. So ages, I'm going to call that A for, my, or for that. At least we're seeing that again. So the age can be greater than or equal to 16. That's at least 16. So as a closed circle on 16, and then off to the right. The other thing we might do, oh, I will finish this up real fast. Okay. The other thing we might do is to look at a inequality and just have to write it backwards and like just write it as a, um, write the inequality that represents this. So here we have negative five is my key number. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, negative five is my key number. We see it's a closed circle and we're seeing we're going off to the right. So we know that's a greater than. The closed circle is gonna be greater than or equal to. So I'll just pick whatever variable I want. So I'll just say X greater than or equal to negative five. Here, we got a compound one from before. So you see how it split. This was an or statement from our previous lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna look at both of these separately. So here's my key numbers, negative six. Okay, it's a closed circle, so it's a less than, there's going to be a equal to in there. And because it's going to the left, that's a less than. So I can say x is less than or equal to negative six. Or here's our key number is four. It's an open circle and it's off to the right. X is greater than uh, four. If you're ever not sure, just go back and double check, test some var uh, values. So like eight or negative eight. Is negative eight less than or equal to negative six? Yeah. So that means I feel pretty good where we're, we got the right spot here. Okay, so we're gonna be doing two things. We're gonna be translating uh, phrases into our inequalities, solving them in graph M. We're also gonna be able to take our inequalities as they're shown on the graph and turn those into our inequality statements. Okay, so that's it for 6B. It's a quick one today. All right, take care everybody.